guys, it's Crystal with Pierre, and in the last video I showed you how you can access Adobe Camera Raw inside of Photoshop even if you have JPEGs, and at the end of the video I also mentioned that you could still run presets, and so I wanted to show you that really fast. I decided to make a second video since the first video was already over 10 minutes and I didn't want it to be too long. So again, if you watched the first video, to access Adobe Camera Raw, even if you shoot JPEGs, you would hit Command J to duplicate your layer so you can do this on a different layer so you have access to changing the opacity of the layer if it's too strong or whatever you want to do to it. There are numerous reasons why you would want to run a preset versus a Photoshop action. If you have Photoshop you obviously have access to actions and while we love actions and we use a lot of actions in our work I love presets because it gives us more options. We have access to different tools and editing options than we do with actions. That's why when we create a set, we don't have a duplicate set for presets and actions. We can duplicate between Lightroom and ACR because those are both presets, but we can't duplicate between actions and Lightroom or actions and ACR. So I'll go ahead and show you. If you watched the last video, you, show, you saw how I edited the first photo. So I'll just go ahead and this photo, and I'll go ahead and show you how quick I can do it with one click with presets. So Command J to duplicate the layer, come up to Filter, and hit Camera Raw Filter, and it will open up Camera Raw. Oh, it's taking a second, sorry. And once it's open, once you've installed your presets, you will find them over in the far right hand corner here called presets. And I will just go ahead and click basic warm workflow too. And one click and it's exactly where I want it to be. The only thing I want to change is the vignette. And you can hit that by hitting FX for effects and lowering the vignette. And really this picture is done. There's nothing else that I would want to do to this photo. So if you want to run presets, then you can run the preset and then hit OK and it will open this into Photoshop. And now that you've done it on this duplicate layer, you can lower the opacity of this if you feel like maybe it's too strong. So after the fact, you can lower the opacity of that. But I think it's perfect just like this. So if you have any questions, let me know.